The following program is made possible by Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, the next stage. Together their musical experience spans more than a century, but their sound is as fresh as today. It's the Dave Miller Trio back for a return live engagement. The game is music and the game is on. Mark Simon. Welcome to the game. The sound you're hearing is the Dave Miller Trio, one of the Bay Area, maybe the nation's preeminent purveyors of American jazz. They're back for a return engagement. We were lucky once before to have Dave Miller here with vocalist Rebecca Dumain. Now they've brought the whole band. On drums, we have Bill Belasco. On bass, the legend Mario Saracci. On vocals, Rebecca Dumain. Thanks for joining us. And the leader of the band, the namesake of the trio, Dave Miller. Let's listen to the rest of the song. That was the tune, A Beautiful Friendship. And now a beautiful friend, Rebecca Dumain, on You For Me. Subtle glance. 
gave me the chance to discover that you're for me. I'm the fish at sea and you're the lure for me. Take a look and see, you've hooked the tree. Who'll agree? Quite cheerfully to be for you if it's you for The Dave Miller Trio. Thank you, folks. That's terrific. Thanks so much. Um, you've got a new album out, new CD, Deed I Do, on Summit Records, I believe. And you'll be playing at your regular stop, the Menlo Hub, next on, Rebecca told me, October, October 6th. 6th and November 3rd, 8 to 11. Love Plenty of seats you. available. Dave, <laughs> stand up here. Talk to me for a second. Tell me um, how you guys choose the songs you choose to perform. Well, the first thing I try to do is trick Mario and see if there's a song he doesn't know. He <laughs> should know. He knows every song book, every song ever written, just about. But anyway, we try to pick a different type of rhythm, a wide variety of tunes. We play the American Songbook largely, but also uh, a number of jazz, jazz standards, too. And now that Rebecca's with the band, we play a whole bunch of songs that none of us ever heard of before. Well, that's a, a different wrinkle. That yeah. Rebecca really started singing with the band full time about two years ago. Is that about right? How do, you, how do you pick? Do you get to pick the songs you I get do. to sing? I do. I pick a lot of them. And how, tell us about your musical taste. How do you pick what you pick? Uh, if I am listening to different, um, different singers, do different covers of stuff, if something just gives me a shiver, I say, oh, we got to do this one. That's great. So. Mario, does he pick good songs? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we had a deal with Mario. I was only going to ask him yes or no questions. You've been doing this for a long time. Forever. For, well, there's a microphone behind you, Bill. Could you pass it over to Mario? And actually, try to get him on sound here. You've been doing this. Yeah, that's the end you're, you're talking to. Let me tell you. <laughs> he's much more talkative with me when I'm playing too fast. Yeah. Um, you've played a lot of different kinds of music. Uh, your resume says you play with everybody from Sinatra to Elvis and yes. in between. Yes. You're doing a lot of jazz. What's the major difference between jazz and other kinds of music that you play? Well, I, I think it's you become flexible so that you can in your brain you think of what works like uh, I've done a lot of Broadway shows and, and you play differently in that than you do in a trio thing mm -hmm. and in a big band there's a different role you play so it, it just depends on what the what the job is and I ended up kind of being not a superstar but a journeyman that I can mostly play most any kind of job there is you know is that accurate? Is he, he's not a superstar? Uh, he's a superstar yeah. and yeah. Uh, a great friend and mentor and teacher and he brings to us the ability to grow older and keep learning new tricks. Well, that's a good, qu that's a good point because I know you've talked before about Mario challenging you musically. Absolutely. How, how does that work? What happens? He brings you a piece you haven't played or is so, something more complicated? Uh, mostly he says slow down. <laughs> No, but seriously, he just goes, he has the sheet music at home. We don't use music when we're playing. And if there's a tune I haven't heard, he'll say, why don't you try this? And he'll bring four or five tunes over, and uh, off we go. You got another song for us? We absolutely do. We'd love to hear it. Jumpy as a puppet on a string I'd say that I have spring fever But I know it isn't spring I am starry-eyed and vaguely discontented Like a nightingale without a song to sing Oh, why should I have spring fever when it isn't even spring I keep wishing I were somewhere else Walking down a strange new street Hearing words that I have never heard From a man I have yet to meet I am as 
busy as a spider spinning daydreams. I'm as giddy as a baby on a swing. I haven't seen a crocus or a rosebud or a robin on the wing. But I feel so gay in a melancholy way that it might as well It might as well be spring. spring you know Rebecca I, I love the lyrics some of the lines like I feel so gay in a melancholy way the lyrics uh, matter to you Frank Sinatra always always talk about his phrasing what, lyrics how, how's that part mean of work? very much to me yeah. yeah I think it's very the words have an infinite amount of images and each each word has an infinite amount of images so yeah they're very important to me well, let's pass this over to Bill it's time for him to talk Bill according to your bio you started playing drums when you were 13 uh, three, actually. Three. Um, excuse me. I thought you, I thought you were three. There's oh, a digit. The same thing in the address here. <laughs> I forget <laughs> that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you worked with the Pickle Family Circus, and I guess they're now called the New Family Circus. Are you, are you still working with no, them? No, actually, I'm going to Clowns Anonymous now for the last <laughs> 10 years trying to get over it. <laughs> what, uh, what did you learn playing for them that's influenced how you play the game? Uh, actually, uh, the idea back then was to play with the circus with my feet and percuss the axe with my hands, mm -hmm. which I never want to do again because <laughs> everyone knows crazy. But it was a totally different concept. Those who come and watch Dave Miller gigs, and I'm proud to say I'm one of them, see that you like to use almost anything within arm's reach to try and make different percussive sounds, whether it's a microphone stand or the instruments available to you. What are you trying to achieve? All just different sounds for different textures and try to color the music, propel the music. Make it swing, hopefully. Mario, everybody wants to know. Everybody, let's pass the mic back over to Mario. Everybody's always heard the stories if they follow music about how difficult Sinatra was in sessions. Was that your experience? Did Sinatra ever yell at you personally? No, because I was Italian like him, so I was cool. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> but he was he did his own rehearsals, uh -huh. which was interesting because most people have a piano conductor that does that. And but he would do his own rehearsals and he would be very critical of everything. Everything had to be just so, and he also sang that way. It was very well thought out and it's fun, you know, it was uh, interesting. So was he as hard on himself as he was on everybody else? I think so. Yeah. You know, 
But, so. it, but it showed in the work, didn't it? Yeah, it sure did. Yeah. yeah. Who else have you performed with? Everybody. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Ella Fitzgerald, I think, is one of them? No. No. Well, Ernst, there you go. Ernestine Anderson. Ernestine Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, Mel Torme. Uh, Buddy Rich. Uh, Buddy Rich, uh, Louis Belson, Joe Pass. You want me to keep going? <laughs> I mean, Shirley McLean. We take up the rest of the time on the <laughs> show. <laughs> was it, uh, so you've been on the road a long time? Yeah, is, is, it, is it a hard living? Yeah, it was tough. It was yeah. tough. Yeah. First, uh, I was a Maynard Ferguson's band for a year. And, uh, all those years with Buddy Rich and Maynard Ferguson, that's why he's telling you to slow down all the time. <laughs> yeah. they, they weren't known for going particularly slow, were no. they? Yeah. So, uh, but each experience was new and different and interesting. Well, thank you. We're going to hear a little of the song, take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the Dave Miller Trio. And this is a song called Passing By. One, two, three, four. And then you caught my eye What a thrill My heart and I stood still Lucky for me that you Came strolling into view I took one look and knew You were love passing dreamed that I'd discover a passerby who'd be my lover from now on we'll walk together and the world will seem so grand as we go hand in hand you It's been over 150 years since Wells Fargo first opened for business. Since then, we've enjoyed your community support, and we're passionate about returning it. Every day, Wells Fargo team members roll up their sleeves and donate their time to organizations and charitable groups throughout the Bay Area. Nationally, we've committed even more. In just the past two years alone, we've donated over $70 million to support schools and educational programs. It's a commitment we're proud of. Wells Fargo, the next stage. Welcome back to the game. I'm Mark Simon, and this is a very special edition featuring the Dave Miller Trio. 
with the vocal stylings of Rebecca Dumaine. They're going to play uh, Better Than Anything, one of the jazz classics. Better than cream cheese and bagels, better than honey on bread. Better than champagne and pretzels, better than breakfast in bed. Better than chili rellenos, better than chocolate eclairs. Better than hothouse tomatoes, better than fresh Bartlett pears. Better than dining a la carte or sampling gastronomic art. Better than anything except being a Than making a million, better than being a queen, better than oil wells and gold mines, better than pastures of green, better than finding a horseshoe, better than losing your head, better than anything thought of, better than anything said, better than singing right out loud or being spotted in a crowd, better than anything except being a Watching fireflies after dark Better than anything Except Being in love Better than anything, the Dave Miller Trio, thank you. They are performing at the Menlo Hub in Menlo Park, hence the name, October 6th and November 3rd. And they also have a new album out, Deed I Do, on Summit Records. Rebecca, it's about time we told the story of why you're, you're Dave Miller's daughter, but your name is Rebecca Dumaine. Yeah. Tell us why. <laughs> um, when I was acting in, uh, in New York, Rebecca Miller was already taken by Arthur Miller's daughter. So in the union, you have to have your own unique name. So Dumaine is a family name. She My wasn't grandmother. using it much, though. She was. She was, she was um, directing. Yeah. yeah. So Dumaine is a family name. My grandmother was Cordelia Dumaine. So I'm Rebecca Dumaine. And, you and then were when I got married, I did not take my husband's name because I already had too many names. Was, three was <laughs> enough already. Yeah. The, um, you were trained uh, to be on the stage. You did mm -hmm. a lot of performing there. You were actually taught in New York as well. Mm -hmm. How different is this kind of singing from that kind of singing? Well, musical theater singing is very much about being loud and out there. And that really never jived with me. So I did a lot of straight acting, a lot of classical work, a lot of Shakespeare. And I teach voice and speech, actually still to this day in San Francisco. So um, the lyric, the story, the objective is still there, just as it is in stage. But uh, there's a little more improvisational, a little more freedom uh, to did play it, around. Did it take a while to, to, to sort of modulate your voice? I mean, it's a different kind of voice. I mean, it's it's really actually meant to be much heard. more like the speaking voice than it is the musical theater speaking, which is very, ah, you know, there's a yeah. lot of nasality to it. So, I don't know, the voice work that I teach is, just helps me move right into this kind of singing. Yeah. Dave, what's it like to have your daughter singing in your group? She, she resisted for years, I assume. No, no. Certainly for the teenage years. No, not at all. She started at the age of 16. We played a first gig at Trader Vic's in San Francisco together. Um, and actually, we've been doing music together since she was about three years old. And uh, while it's my daughter who is with me, and I think of that often in reality, 
she's just a tough taskmaster, and she's uh, telling me how to do it, and I'm having a great time. We're just part of a band, and we're good buddies when it comes to doing music. So she's running the show now after all these years? Well, she plays a big role. Yeah. Speaking of playing, you guys got another number for us? We're going to do another number. This is a beautiful ballad called uh, What Is There to Say? speaking come true come true what is there to say and how will I pull through I knew in a moment contentment and wholement just you you are so lovable so livable your beauty is just unforgivable you're made to marvel at or words to that so what is there to say and what is there to do my heart's in a deadlock i'd even face wedlock with you Wedlock. My heart's in a deadlock. I'd even face wedlock with you. Dave Miller Trio with Rebecca Dumais on vocals. Thank you. Uh, Bill, grab that microphone near you there. Time for you to be in the hot spot again. Um, first of all, why drums? Did, oh, well, I guess that takes care of that. <laughs> We're going to make it easy for you. Tell me, um, what is it about playing drums that uh, suits your fancy that appeals to you? Uh, it's all I've ever done for a living. That's just what I do. How do you decide? Because one of the, one of the ethos of jazz is to improvise. You know, the classic format, you play the song through once, then you, you riff a little bit, you find places to go. How do you fit into that? How do, how do the drums, what role do the drums play? Because in addition to keeping the beat, you, wanna, you obviously have to make decisions about different sounds you want to make. 
Well, once the tune starts, I'm driving the bus, so to speak. Hopefully, everyone's listening to me for the the beat and the, to pro, you know to make the music go forward. But but in a song like this, you'll use four or five different sets of strings, sometimes three or four at least. How do you decide which sounds you want to make at any given time? Again, it's just colors, just colors to try to texture the music, different brushes and different sticks, mallets. Mario, same questions for you. Tell us why the bass, first of all. Well, the bass provides the bottom, of course. And Bill is right, he's the hub of the rhythm section. I play everything off of him, and I clue on it. The important interest in instrument to me is the hi-hat, because that's the one that gives the, pro the propulsion to the boat, so to speak. And so um, he may do something that I said, well, that's kind of neat, that what he just did, so I'm going to do this. So it's like you kind of have a conversation without words, and it goes, of course, to the, the keyboard, too, so it goes round and round and round, and that's how you get a thing will come into your head, and you'll say, God, that's really nice. No, I'm going to do this. And he'll hear it, and he'll do something, and he'll go back to the drum. So it just goes round and round. And uh, it's kind of intuitive also. You, you just do it. You don't think of it consciously. It's kind of a subconscious stream that happens in the thing. And now that I've said that, I'm very confused. <laughs> so so what, it, what it really is is pretty spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to head, head into a break, and uh, we'll be right back with the Dave Miller Trio, so stay with us. You want to play us off a little bit on the break, Dave? Sure. It's been over 150 years since Wells Fargo first opened for business. Since then, we've enjoyed your community support, and we're passionate about returning it. Every day, Wells Fargo team members roll up their sleeves and donate their time to organizations and charitable groups throughout the Bay Area. Nationally, we've committed even more. In just the past two years alone, we've donated over $70 million to support schools and educational programs. It's a commitment we're proud of. Wells Fargo, the next stage. Welcome back to the game. I'm Mark Simon. This is the Dave Miller Trio. You notice there are four of them here. That's okay. Actually, there are five because I'm not part of the group. They're the benefit of everybody. We have the Dave Miller Trio, one of the preeminent American jazz groups in the country. On drums, we have Bill Belasco. On bass, we have Mario Sorachi. Over here on the vocals, Rebecca Dumain. And the man himself, Dave Miller on piano. you off of my list but when you come a knocking at my door fate seems to give my heart a twist and I come running back for more I should hate you but I guess I love you you've got me in between the devil and the deep blue sea
cross you off of my list But when you come a-knocking at my door Fate seems to give my heart a twist And I come running back for more I should hate you But I guess I love you You've got me in between The devil, the devil devil and the deep blue sea. Rebecca Dumain with the Dave Miller Trio. Menlo Hub, October 6th, November 3rd. Summit Records CD, Deed I Do. Dave, it's your turn. I'm ready, Mark. Uh, well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> I guess. Um, how do you know what you're doing next? How do you, when you're playing jazz, uh, the whole idea is to to take the song where it will take you. and How do you know where you're going to go next? Well, I think, as you heard from Bill and Mario, they're the engine driving. We know what the changes are. I feed off of them in the same way they feed off of me. A couple of words about Bill in that respect. We've been together 40 years. His versatility is obvious. You started when you were eight, right? Well, I was pretty young, too. Uh, <laughs> the thing about Bill, and one of the reasons I like to be in position to see him, is I've never seen someone who has so much fun playing as Bill does. He's very precise, he's very demanding, he keeps good time, and he's always having a good time, and whenever we're playing in a live audience situation, he connects with the audience in the same way that Becca does. Mario and I just sort of hang back there, and you know, <laughs> statues. <laughs> and Mario, of course, just drives it, and uh, the first time I played with Mario, uh, I'll never forget. Uh, because we had just met that night of the gig, and I, I heard this engine behind me, and then I heard these melodic solos, and. So I get my inspiration from them, and they know where I'm going, and uh, it works. We've talked before about Mario's bass playing as, as unusually melodic. Mm. Normally it's not quite, I mean, he's really counterpointing the melody of the song in many ways, isn't he? He absolutely is. Well, he'll come up with funny, humorous things, too. He'll do a variation on a theme. All of a sudden, you'll hear a different tune. He's doing his solo, so it's, uh, uh, he's a pro. Yeah. How do you choose what songs to play? Uh, it's a combination of things, and Rebecca, as I've said before, adds a lot uh, in terms of playing with vocals. In terms of what we do as a trio, uh, we all we all collaborate. We play the songbook. We love Cole Porter. It's one of my favorites. George Gershwin, Rogers and Hart, Harold Darlin. How can you miss? So the uh, the choices are innumerable. And who's your biggest influence in terms of how you play? Uh, George Shearing. Yeah. Uh, and everyone here knows that. I mean, I've heard him all my life. I love Bill Evans. And, you know, that era and genre is uh, what makes me tick. A lot of block chords, inner harmony. I like inner voicing. I always learned that from writing and doing choral work. You know? What does that mean, inner voicing? Well, you're playing uh, inside the note. I can show you. Right. So if you're playing a chord that's open, so... Side, you know, and, so you're uh, within moving, the chord, basically. Yeah, and modulating and improvising and, and doing sort of chromatic movements. Instead of just playing. When over. did you start playing? Well, my grandmother tells me I started playing like when Bill did, except a few years earlier. <laughs> when I was three, I was on her lap, and she was a concert pianist, and uh, so music was always a part of my upbringing. And did you have a classical class training? I did. Why jazz instead of something else? Uh, a lot of freedom, and uh, jazz is built on classical. The roots are there, the counterpoint is there, the structure is there, but jazz gives you the freedom to go other places. Well, speaking of freedom to go other places, let's, where are we going to go next? We're going to go to Just You and Just Me, and we're going to feature Bill a little bit on this one. And uh, uh, this is going to take off at a pretty fast pace. Dave Miller Trio. Just you, just me. Let's find a cozy spot to cuddle and woo. Just us, just we. I've missed an awful lot. My trouble is you. Oh, gee, what are your charms for? What are my arms for? Use your imagination, just you, just me. I'll tie a lover's knot round wonderful you. Just you, just me. Let's find a cozy spot to cuddle and woo. Just us, just me. I've missed an awful lot. My trouble is you. Oh, gee, what are your charms for? What are my arms for? Use your imagination, just you, just me. I'll tie a lover. 
Mother's not round wonderful you Breaking the microphone again. Talk about Dave Miller a little bit. You've been with him for a long time. Describe his, mus Careful. his musicality. <laughs> what kind of musician is he? He's great. I, Dave's just a natural player. You know, he has that natural ability and plays by ear a lot too, which is remarkable. You know, he doesn't need a lot of paperwork to play. He just can sit down and make music. What kind of music? Is there something that's distinctive? I mean, could you be listening to the radio? Without any other introduction, know it's Dave Miller playing? Yeah, yeah, it's a swing era kind of jazz, I'd say, swing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mario, let's talk a little bit from you about Dave Miller. I don't know if you should allow this. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> what would you like to know? How good a musician is he? He's got a fantastic ear. Uh, he grasps harmonic concepts really quickly. Uh, those are the plus signs. <laughs> I don't want to go to the other, but no, I'm teasing. <clears throat> no, he's great to play with. He's really fun to play with. And what I like, he's really very open about anything. I mean, any idea, whether it works or not, or likes or dislikes it, he's very open to input from Bill and myself, which makes it a lot more fun for us because we feel we have input in the trio rather than marching behind a leader, so to speak, you know. <clears throat> Now he, he's, he's often complained that you'll bring him some piece of music that's incredibly complicated. Yes. And you do that on purpose just to make yes. his life difficult? Or, yes. Yeah. Or is <laughs> yeah. this something you want to see? Let's see if we can stretch a little bit and try this out. Well, that's the concept behind it. And a lot of times it works, and sometimes I bring him a tune and I hear him play it, and then I don't hear about it anymore. It kind of just <laughs> evaporates. So I know that didn't hit the magic button, you know, so to speak. Yeah. But he's, he'll try anything. That I grant, he will try any tune me, I bring uh, in. He brought me Quasimodo and I surprised him. <laughs> well, yeah, speaking that's of... Right. That's right, yeah. <laughs> On that humpback note, we're gonna have to take a break. We'll be right back, join us, stay with us. This is the Dave Miller Trio and a special edition of The Game. Wanna play a little on the way out? It's been over 150 years since Wells Fargo First opened for business. Since then, we've enjoyed your community support, and we're passionate about returning it. Every day, Wells Fargo team members roll up their sleeves and donate their time to organizations and charitable groups throughout the Bay Area. Nationally, we've committed even more. In just the past two years alone, we've donated over $70 million to support schools and educational programs. It's a commitment we're proud of. Wells Fargo, the next stage. Welcome back to the game. I'm Mark Simon. We're here with the Dave Miller Trio. One more time, let me introduce the band. Bill Velasco on drums. Mario Saracci on bass. Rebecca Dumaine, the vocal stylings thereof. 
and Dave Miller of the Dave Miller Trio. It's been such a pleasure to have them here. They're going to play. Dave mentioned uh, his fondness for George Shearing. It's well known, anybody who knows Dave. But he's going to play maybe the George Shearing classic piece, a Lullaby of Birdland. Lullaby of Birdland, that's what I always hear when you sigh. Never in my wordland could there be ways to reveal in a phrase how I feel. Have you ever heard two turtle doves fill and coo when they love? That's the kind of magic music we'll make with our lips when we kiss. And there's a weeping old willow. He really knows how to cry. That's how I'd cry on my pillow if you should kiss me farewell and goodbye. Lullaby of Birdland, whisper low, kiss me sweet, and we'll go flying high in Birdland, high in the sky up above. All because we're in. can see what you mean about Bill having fun, Dave. It was fun watching him, and I'm so busy getting uh, transfixed by Mario, and I'm doing my hipster head bob here and forgot to walk off the set. 
That was fantastic. Well, Thank you so much. Set, well, yeah, I, mean, I, I really look like I fit in, too. I forgot to wear black today. Um, <laughs> you know, I've always wanted a rim shot. Can you just, uh, can I pay you to follow me around the rest of the day? Uh, that's probably not enough, anyway. Um, this has been a special edition of uh, the game. It's been great fun. I can't thank you all enough for being so generous with your time and your talent. Pure quality jazz. Couldn't get any better. We're going to go off the air now. We're going to have you guys ask you guys to play us off. But before we go one more time, Bill Belasco on drums, Mario Sirachi on the bass, Rebecca Dumain handling the vocals, and the namesake, the leader of the band, Dave Miller on keyboard, piano, and Anything else is black and white. Uh, thanks so much for being here, and thank you for joining us. Join us next time on The Game. Go ahead. No more blues, I'm going back home. No, no more blues, I promise no more to roam. Home is where the heart is. The funny part is My heart's been right here all along No more tears And no more sighs No, no more fears I'll say no more goodbyes If travel back comes me I swear I'm gonna refuse I'm gonna settle down And there'll be no more blues Every day While I am far away My thoughts turn homeward No more.